Hey everyone, it's Isomer back again. Um, in this tutorial episode, we're actually going to finally launch this craft into the, uh, well, hopefully into space. Um, so, this should be leveraging kind of like the basic ideas we learned from the last episode. Um, again, everything goes with the nice control panel. And if we want to open our file, we just do edit tutorial dot. And I can see a blank file because I've loaded a new craft. Okay, so whenever you need to launch a ship, you know, you need some way of controlling the steering and the throttle. And luckily, KOS gives you a nice feature to do that uh, to avoid any kind of interruption of the throttle or um, steering control. And that is, you can lock, and that'll lock the mechanism, throttle, and that'll be the throttle to 1.0 or 1 um, and basically what that will do uh, it'll set the throttle to maximum uh, the throttle in KOS goes from 0, 0.0 to 1.0 um, 0 being the max or no, sorry, 0 being the least and 1 being the max and so yeah you basically lock the throttle to whatever you want and let's say if I did 0 0.5, it would lock it to half. But I'll set to 0 0.1 for this demonstration. Uh, same thing with the steering. You can lock steering to, and now steering is a little different. It needs a direction. So let's say you want to go up, which is obviously the direction that the ship is pointing. Um, and with that, um, one little quirk about uh, KOS is that the, the way the parts work, the part or the ship is actually rotated 180 degrees on uh, this kind. Like it, the ship thinks it's sitting like this right now. Oh, there we go. Instead of like this. So we need to adjust for that rotation. And to do that, we'll need a rotation vector to tell it, you know, hey, the ship's actually oriented this way. So it's easy to do. You just go R for rotation. 0, 0, 180. And that pretty much means no rotation on the 0 axis, or no rotation on the X axis, no rotation on the Y axis, but 180 degree rotation on the Z axis, which is up and down. Or up and down? Or... I can't read the axis off the top of my head. But basically, it, it runs long ways through um, the uh, rocket. Okay, so oh, let's put a dot at the end. So now we have that. Okay, so now it's the throttle's locked, the steering's locked. Now we've got to tell it what to do. And that's a really simple command and that is stage. And that will initiate my first stage, which is stage zero, which is the docking clamps and the engine. Now in a multi-stage craft, which, which we'll be getting to probably the next few episodes here, um, there's interesting ways you need to work around that. Next, I'll show you a way real fast. This program right now will not work the way, or work the way it's made. Um, once a program ends, it unlocks the throttle and steering. And when that happens, you get a situation where um, well, again, you pretty much just launch the ship and there's no control. So what you want to do is you'll have to have a condition for the program to wait for it to end. And to do that, you want it to wait, which is command. Uh, wait can be used with just a number like wait one, which will wait one second and it'll run again. Or you can say, hey, wait. Um until, so wait until something happens. Uh, let's see, now here's, the, here's another thing, like kind of like your ship, you can, it's, a, it's one of those words it knows. Um, there's also one for the current stage, and that is stage, it knows stage. And with stage, you can get things like the fuel level, so solid fuel or liquid fuel. So I'll type in liquid fuel. Okay, so we'll wait until the liquid fuel 
I could do equals zero, but I generally have a little margin of error because um, just the way the application, uh, just the way I feel it works best is have a little bit of margin of error. So it's not just like waiting for one specific number, it waits for a kind of a small little range. So I'll say wait until stage liquid fuel is less than one or 0 0.1 and put a dot at the end. So that like basically will pause the program and wait until that stage um, has 0 0.1 liquid fuel left. And let me open that real fast in here. As you can see, I've already taken some fuel out, so it doesn't take forever to launch. And then I'll just do a simple print statement afterwards saying launch complete. And there we go. So now with that, I'll now save it. Um, and before we launch, um, actually I might get that into a later episode. I believe it, I'm trying to think of the command. I can't think of the command off the top of my head. Um, but I'll get back to that probably in the next episode when we actually make a little more complex script. Basically how to transfer to your archive. Um, so now we have a basic little script to see how, if we can get the thing off the launch pad. So basically, starting from the top down, we lock the throttle to one. We set the steering to up uh, and add the rotation that uh, KSP gives the craft on the launch pad. Stage, which will stage our rocket. Wait until our liquid fuel is less than one, which will keep the application active. And then we'll say launch complete and the program will end. So now what we need to do is tell the computer to run the tutorial. Okay, so now our rocket's launching. As you can see, uh, here I cannot, I'm pushing the keys and I cannot change the direction of the craft, nor can I increase or decrease the throttle. Oh, there's sticky keys. So basically the ship's now on autopilot. I can't, I don't have any kind of control over it. It is doing what it does while it's launching. Now, as you can see, the liquid fuel, once it gets lower and to the point where there is 0.1 liquid fuel left in the tank, which is approaching here quite rapidly, you'll see that we'll get a message in the console saying launch complete, and then after that, I technically should regain control, but because of remote tech, um, we currently have no connection, so I won't be able to do that. And there we go. See, launch complete, program ended. So now technically I have control of the craft uh, while it flies through the air. So I think that does it for this episode. The next episode I will be showing you how to um, basically do a little more complex, maybe some maneuvers, uh, possibly get a um, gravity turn in there and try to get this thing into orbit uh, a little more than uh, just going straight up. So, until the next episode, I'm Isomer, signing off.